Hey y'all, Serpent here. In today's video, I'm playing at Replay Airsoft in Glen Burnie, Maryland. I just want to say this is the most intense CQB field I've ever played in so far. The map is really small, the games play out pretty quickly, and the engagements are extremely close, which makes for a really fun experience every time I come here. In today's video, I'm using my Elite Force Electric Blowback UMP45. I had a Vickers Tactical 1911 as my sidearm at the time, but I no longer have it. So here, I'm just showing you my usual sidearm that I use on CQB fields, my Elite Force Glock 17. The objective of the first game was an interesting one. There are balls that can light up that the announcer throws periodically throughout the game, and both teams have to find them and bring them back to their spawn. The balls are initially unlit, but if you do pick up a ball and it happens to light up on you, you die. The team that has the most balls in their spawn at the end of the game wins. I hope you enjoyed the video. For the most part, this was a very rough game. The enemy team had us locked down near spawn for a long time and we were getting killed a lot because they were able to seize and hold control of the map before we could. Most of my focus honestly was just finding an opening so I could try my best to take out the enemy players that way our teammates could push up and take control of the map and here I found my opening. Oh, well. <laughs> that pretty much wrapped up the first game. I tried pushing up again, but I got killed, and honestly, I can't remember if we won or not. I really wanted to try to play the objective, but we were just getting slaughtered really bad near spawn, so I just focused on doing my best to push the enemy back so that way we could move up. The second game was an awesome round of attack and defend, and we were defending the second floor. There was a gong in the center that we had to keep the enemy team from ringing. We had to defend the gong for 7 minutes. If the enemy reached the gong or killed us all before 7 minutes, we lost. During this game, there were no respawns. We had to be medic back in, and there was only one medic that we had, and we had to keep him alive at all times. We also had mortars as well, which were pretty much just nerf balls. Anyone who was caught in a 10 foot radius of a thrown mortar was considered KIA. Helping coming up with a plan, picking spots to defend, and helping with placing mortars in different locations all added to the experience and hype before the game. Hope you enjoy. My teammate just threw a mortar. As the announcer stated, anyone who was caught in the 10 foot radius died. Knock 
Bit of a confusion there. Even though the camera angle makes it look like I wasn't in cover, I was. I heard a loud sound of a BB impacting something, and I thought I might have taken a headshot somehow, so I asked my teammate just to be sure, but he confirmed it was just a ricochet. Unfortunately, I was not able to get revived because our medic was pinned down for the rest of the time, but I did my part before I got killed, and I felt pretty good about it, and we won that round. Thanks for watching, y'all. As always, push things to the limit and have fun. Serpent out.